Okay, now, this is going to be three. The point I wanted to make, which they took off my head uh, in the last video, is about urine. Now, um, years ago, I saw this uh, girl come out of the bathroom with a cup. Not a girl, a woman. A white woman come out the bathroom. She wasn't from America. Just from one of these European countries. So, um, I don't know if she was Polish, but it wasn't England. She spoke a, a different language. And uh, people were laughing at her because they said she had drank her urine. She came out the bathroom, she had drank her urine. I was young, but then I paid no attention. But um, I remember old people used to say, well, if you have certain sores or something, urine was used to uh, help heal you. It was used as a health product. But in 2015, I started seeing the videos about urine therapy. And uh, <coughs> and uh, how urine was called to steal living water. And I remembered Nancy. That was her name, Nancy. We're drinking Europe. And they said back in her country, as coming up, because she was an older woman, that Nancy, that they use urine for health reasons. Well, we called this woman Nancy here. Now, another logic. They don't want you peeing, urinating anywhere outside the United States. You, if they catch you on the streets, you get a ticket for urinating in public. If, even if you go down an alley, or even if you're discreet, if they think you're urinating, you get a ticket. Uh, and no, no, I think you'd be arrested for urinating in public. Or on the street. But like I say, even if you're hiding in the alley, police will come down the alley and say, oh, you're. But what's the logic of that? Because cats and dogs and other animals, even fish, urinate all over the land. Fish in the water. They put their weights back in the water. Now, they don't tell you that you can't let your dog or cat pee on the sidewalks in the grass. There's no law against them. There's no uh, nothing to tell you pick up your dog ways. But dogs, animals, steal bears in the wood. And some of them say, all animals all over the city can urinate and defecate anywhere with no issue. But it's a problem for humans. They can't allow you to waste that product that they're selling back to. <coughs> so they made it against the law for people to urinate anywhere to make sure <coughs> they collect that urine. And that system that it can process it and take out the things. I read an article. <coughs> <coughs> I read an article while I was at that West Valley Detention Center. It's this article in the newspaper in the San Bernardino Times. Hold on. Okay, I stopped they talking. I read an article in the San Bernardino Times and. 2018. This is column by Dr. Roach. I don't really respect him as a doctor because uh, the, uh, people call, ask him a question. He gives them wrong answers a lot of times. So then uh, people write back and tell him his answer is wrong. He backtracks a lot. But I still like to read his column because I learn from the people who read his column and, and correct them. So I don't really think that Dr. Roach is a real doctor. But this guy wrote in and was asking him about urine, urine therapy. <coughs> Dr. Roach said he didn't know much about it. So 
sometimes these things that our journalists and our media know, but they don't want to discuss it. But this guy wrote in. This day, this guy wrote art. Wrote, uh, <coughs> he wrote in and said that when he was in the service as a young man, he was a must have been an older guy. He said during the forties, fifties, and sixties that the government was using doing all kinds of strange experiments on the military, on the military men. He says those that were caught during the war, I think this was either, I don't remember what war, but he said during the war that there were these uh, POW camps, prisoner of war camps. And these, uh, the captors would feed them special diets and collect their urine and sell them to their pharmaceutical companies there. Now, as I said, you could probably look that information up in a San Bernardino uh, son. And the man was saying that, this old man was saying that, they put them on special diets. And if you look at some urine therapies, uh, videos, it'll say that the better your, the healthier your diet is, the healthier your urine, urine is to use. And uh, whatever you eat, will produce certain urine. So when the guy said that uh, their captors were feeding them special diets and collecting the urine and selling it to the pharmaceutical companies, I knew he was telling the truth. So why is it against the law for us to put urine back on the land, when they can collect it, make it against the law, for us to urinate back on earth, and then they collect it and sell it for food and food, pharmaceuticals and cosmetics. All right, guys, as I tell you all the time, research, research, research. We're gonna have to find out why. They have outlawed and got rid of things because now we know when they see it's carcinogenic or poison, they have their own agenda behind it. Smoking <coughs> kills this more gallons. So, kill the Chemtrail stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> I noticed this in 2017 that if I'm in my tent and I smoke the cigarette and it was at night and I use my light, I can see that more gallon particles die, fall to the ground. So I noticed then that smoke kills that more gallon. That smart dust. That's why I started smoking again. But, uh, that's why they do not allow us to smoke in bars, restaurants, in New Orleans you can't smoke in your apartment. Smoke, no buildings. Again, now they're still selling cigarettes. But they don't want you just smoke anywhere because that smoke killed them more gallons in these buildings, in these restaurants, in these bars. You used to be able to smoke on an airplane. Can't do that anymore. Because you was way up there with that more gallons, with that smart dust. But that's another reason. Another thing they got rid of is smoking in your homes, apartments, public places. Uh, secondhand smoke doesn't kill people. Selling secondhand smoke kills that more gallons, that smart dust. These things they're dropping out these chemtrails. You can't even smoke in the park here in California. 
They've got areas in Illinois you can't smoke in the park. You mean even outdoors you can't smoke? So why are you guys still selling cigarettes? And we can't smoke anywhere. <coughs> As I said, they got rid of smoking. They robbed us because I used to sit at the bar, have me a drink, and tell, have me a cigarette. Have me a nice meal in the restaurant and have me a cigarette. But you can't do that anymore. You got to, not only, you used to be able to just stand outside the building. Now they tell you you have to stand 20, 25 feet away from the building to smoke. Another, come up with the problem. And now a solution. Banned smoking everywhere. All right, God, do your research.